Hey there, welcome to Dull Motion. It is summer! And to celebrate this season, I'm going to make a summer loving fox boy. For this repaint, I'm going to use this Jackson Jackal doll. Not many doll artists use Jackal because of the holes his eyebrow piercing leaves on his face. But for this repaint, the piercing is totally fine. First, I'm going to prep the doll for a reroute. I will be needing, of course, the doll, a towel, a mug, and very hot water. I then dip the doll in the hot water and leave it to soak for a few minutes. The warm water makes the final softer. Use a washcloth so you won't burn yourself. You can now easily remove his head from his body. I take off his eyebrow piercing and save it for later. I then cut off his hair as close to his skull as possible. You can now remove his hair from the inside with tweezers. Great, now we have a hairless head. Take nail polish remover with acetone and remove all his factory paint. Give them warm soapy wash after. He's going to be a fox so his ear is going to be on top of his head. So you won't need these ears. I make some extra holes so I can cover it up with a reroute. Aw, oh, he has a big gap in his head. This can be a problem with rerouting. So I just simply seal it close. Time for the reroute. I will be using this summer lemon blonde saran hair. To make a rerouting tool, you can use a drill chalk or a scalpel without a blade, as long as it can hold the needle tightly. Take a needle with a white eye and cut it cross on an angle. It's best to make more needles because they break easily. Great, now you have a rerouting tool. Take a small strand of hair and plug it into the doll's head. This will take a while, so... Yeah. I mark the space where his ears will be and reroute around it. All done with the reroute. Secure the plugs with Fabric Tech glue and let it dry. After that, we can style the hair with boiling water. For more information, check my King's Day and How to Clean Your Dolls video. Cutting off some hair. And then make holes for his fox ears. And fill it with fabric tag glue, so his hair plugs will stay in place. I don't have any orange ink, so I made some with yellow and red. I then color his hair around his ears and part. Yeah, it kinda looks creepy right now. But it will look better, I promise. I already took the effort to sand down his body. Now he's fully ready for the beach. Time to give him a tail. Mark where you want the holes to be. I then use a Lino cutter set to make two small holes. I then slide aluminum wire to the holes and bend them together. I then cover the wire with flower bending tape. This keeps the tail flexible. To secure the tail, I cover the end with epoxy clay. I also give him long finger and toenails and small cute teeth. With a new bunch of epoxy clay, I made his ears. 
When the clay was dry, I sand down some edges for a better look. Now I'm going to make his arms and legs partly black. Something real foxes also have. I begin with black acrylic paint and finish it with pastel powders and layers of Mr. Super Clear. To make him more foxy, I'm going to give him a fluffy tail and ears. There's no better way to make this than out of yarn. With clear drying glue, I attach yarn rest to his wire one by one. To get a big fluffy tail. I made his ears the same way as his tail. To attach the ears to his head, I mix that two part epoxy glue and attach the ears. Believe me, these ears will never come off. I then prep the doll and spray the doll's face with two coats of Humbro varnish. Let's finally begin a face up. I start the face up by painting his chin and mouth white with acrylic paint. Also a cute touch, real foxes have. And it kinda looks like he has a beard. After another spray, I begin sketching in his face with pencils. Already back to acrylic paint. With different shades of green, I try to make a gradient in his eyes. I'm going to give him a little bit of an anime style. I'm really into vintage dolls lately, and especially dolls from Japan. Do any of you collect vintage dolls? Not forgetting the lower waterline, it really gives an eye more life. Switching between pastels to darken areas around his mouth and nose. That white dot for shine in his eye. I saw Nicole's dream and delightful using Perrex a few times, so I got kinda curious. So let's try it out! Yeah, that really looks great. To finish the face up, I darken some parts around his eyes and spray the dough with two coats of Mr. Super Clear. You must be thinking, but what about his eyebrows? I take some tacky glue and cover it with small pieces of yarn. After a trim, he has two bushy eyebrows. Now I can place back his eyebrow piercing. To make sideburns, I take a weft and cut it up in tiny pieces to get flock. Using some tacky glue, I cover it with the flock. To give his lips and eyes some shine, I use high gloss varnish. For his outfits, I made him some cut off jeans with space in the back for his tail. His shirt was simple, made with velcro in the back and simple painted detail on the front. Look, it's a small palm tree. When I think of the summer, I think of festivals. 
I see many guys having an arm full of festival bracelets. So this fox is also getting an arm like that. By covering ribbons with glue on a freezer bag, the ribbons will be easily cut and won't unravel. The sun glasses were simple, I just painted some Barbie glasses. The last items are his shoes. I stuck these monster high boy shoes and cut them up to make slippers. And paint them to match his outfit. I really think this fox boy has a summer vibe going on. The plan is to make a doll for every coming season. So fall will be next. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't want to miss the next video, subscribe to the channel. Have a nice summer and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!